Lakas CMD Lakas Christian Muslim Democrats is a center-right political party in the Philippines, with influence of Christian democracy and Islamic democracy. The current party originated in 2009 with the merger of the original Lakas CMD party with the Kabalakat ng Malayang Pilipino Campi. It was known as Lakas Campi CMD until 2012. The party produced one president, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, who was president when the two parties merged in 2009. With Arroyo unable to run for a new term due to term limits, the party lost the 2010 presidential election with Gilberto Teodoro as its presidential nominee. The party retained its two senators, both incumbents, in the Senate election and became a part of the Liberal Party led majority coalition. In the House of Representatives election, it won 47% of the seats contested in the district election, but most of its members were split into three groups, with many defecting to the Liberal Party, some formed the National Unity Party, and the remaining members were split into the majority and minority blocs, with its members heading the minority. On May 11, 2012, the party decided to revert to its original name and drop Arroyo's Campi from the coalition. Lakas CMD is currently one of the parties in opposition. In 2013, Senator Bong Revilla assumed the new chairman of Lakas party. He is supposed to be the standard bearer of the party in the 2016 presidential election prior to his detainment at PNP Custodial Center at Camp Crane due to pork barrel allegations. Ideology. Lakas CMD has always focused on economic growth and development, stronger ties with the United States, creation of jobs, and strong cooperation between the executive and legislative branches of government. It is known for its advocacy of a shift from the present presidential system to a parliamentary form of government through constitutional amendments and through establishing peace talks with Muslim separatists and communist rebels. The party democracy is distinct in its ecumenical inclusion of Muslim leaders in its political alliance. History Ramos administration Lakas ng Dao was formed in December 1991 for the 1992 elections as retired general, then defense secretary, Fidel V. Ramos and former Cebu governor Emilio Mario Lito. R. Osmeña were running for president and vice president respectively. It was also formed when Ramos bolted from the Laban ng Demokratikong Pilipino LDP, struggle of democratic Filipinos, after he had lost in the bid for the presidency under that said banner to Speaker Ramon Mitra. The party was formed out of two parties, Ramos's Partido Lakas ng Dao People Power Party, and the National Union of Christian Democrats NUCD, of Raul Manglapas. As they coalesced, the party became known as Lakas ng Dao National Union of Christian Democrats, with Lakas ng Dao usually just shortened to Lakas and abbreviated as Lakas NUCD. In 1994, it formed a coalition government with the LDP for the 1995 legislative elections. This coalition, dubbed the Lakas Laban Coalition, won a majority in both houses of Congress. In the 1997 Lakas National Convention, the party nominated House Speaker Jose de Venecia Jr. of Pangasinan after a close nominal fight with then Defense Secretary Renato de Villa as its nominee to the presidency against the opposition's Vice President Joseph Estrada in the 1998 elections. By this time, it was joined by the Union of Muslim Democrats of the Philippines UMDP, of former ambassador to Egypt and Oman Sanchez A. Ali to form Lakas ng EDSA National Union of Christian Democrats United Muslim Democrats of the Philippines Lakas NUCD UMDP. Secretary de Villa eventually bolted the party and formed Partido ng Demokratikong Reforma Democratic Reform Party for the 1998 elections. Lakas also nominated then-Senator Gloria Macapagal Arroyo of Pampanga as its candidate as vice president. Arroyo had originally intended to run for president under her party, Kabalakat ng Mamamayang Pilipino Campi. De Venecia lost to Vice President Estrada by a significant plurality, while Arroyo won the vice presidency in the same manner while her Campi party was in hiatus. Arroyo administration in the 2004 elections, the name changed again to the current Lakas Christian Muslim Democrats, or Lakas CMD. 
However, the meaning of lakas in the party name is usually now referred to as lakas ng EDSA, which means the strength of EDSA, than the original lakas ng Dao, which means the strength of the people or people power. This is also the name that it used when it ran in 2004 elections under the K4 coalition. President Arroyo, who succeeded the deposed President Joseph Estrada, was the K4 coalition candidate for president in the 2004 election, eventually winning over her opponents primarily Fernando Poe Jr. and Senator Panfilo Laxon. At the onset of 2006, Lacas CMD was torn by factional rivalry between supporters of President Arroyo and supporters of former President Fidel V. Ramos. Issues include transitory provisions in a proposed constitution to scrap midterm elections or no L. Set for 2007 and calls for her to step down in time for the elections, which is related to the No L. Controversy. The party held its annual party directorate meeting on January 14, 2006 to discuss these matters. There are no official results available of the 2007 elections released by the party but according to the Philippine House of Representatives, the party holds 79 out of 235 seats. On January 16, 2008, LACA's spokesman and legal counsel Raul Lambino stated that LACA's CMD officially released the list of senatorial bets for 2010 spokesman in 2010. Except for Parañaque representative Eduardo Zialcita, they were not yet identified. But Lambino named incumbent senators Ramon Rivia Jr. and Lito Lapid, former Senator Ralph Recto and former Congressman Prospero Piche as among those considered. Former Speaker of the House Jose de Venecia Jr., Pangasinan 4th District, resigned his post as President of LACA's CMD on March 10, 2008. He rejected the proposition of former President Fidel Ramos to give him the title Chairman Emeritus. The current Speaker of the House Prospero Negrales Devo minus one stone district, was sworn in as the new President of LACA's CMD party and former Speaker of the House Feliciano Belmonte Jr. as Vice President for Metro Manila Affairs on the same day. President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo on June 18, 2008, confirmed the historical merger of the LACAS Christian Muslim Democrats LACAS CMD and the Kabalakat ng Malayang Pilipino Campi parties. Both parties adopted the equity of the incumbent principle, as the merger would account for almost 200 national and 8,000 local officials, amid Mrs. Arroyo's prediction of 2010 elections victory. Prospero Negrales, LACA's president and Campi Chair Rinaldo Puno signed the covenant at the Davao City Regional Caucus. Former President and LACA's CMD Chairman Emeritus Fidel V. Ramos announced on February 6, 2008 that LACA's CMD would be the surviving entity after its merger with Campi. On August 9, 2009, former House Speaker Jose de Venecia Jr. and former President Fidel V. Ramos led 50 members from the LACA's Campi CMD in objecting to its merger with Kabalakat ng Malayang Pilipino Campi on May 28, 2009. The faction made de Venecia its president with Ramos as the chairman emeritus of the new party. Ramos refused the offer of chairman emeritus of Lacas Campi after being named in interim party organization. De Venecia has filed a resolution at the Commission on Elections to declare null and void the merger. However, the Supreme Court ultimately upheld the legality of the merger, citing the failure of de Venecia to sufficiently show that any grave abuse of discretion was committed by the Commission on Elections in rendering the challenged resolution. Aquino III Administration Since Benigno Aquino III was sworn in as President of the Philippines on June 30, 2010, the majority of the former legislative member of Lacas Campi were sworn as a members of the reborn Liberal Party. In 2011, the legislators led by Pablo P. Garcia established the Neutral National Unity Party, which has many similarities with the Nationalist People's Coalition. In 2013, the party suffered its largest decline, due to the arrest of the party's matriarch, Gloria Arroyo. However the remaining party largely supports the United Nationalist Alliance, with candidates from among its former members such as Migs Zabiri, Richard Gordon and Midas Magsaysay. Deterred administration and dissolution In the 2016 presidential elections, LACAS supports the candidacy of Rodrigo 
Rodi, Digong, Duterte and Ferdinand. Bongbong. Marcos Jr. for President and Vice President respectively, which Duterte won and Marcos lost to Liberal Party candidate Ma. Leonora. Lenny. Robredo. In July 2017, Rivia was sworn into Duterte's party PDP-Laban, and in October, Macapagal Arroyo and her allies, also joins PDP-Laban, as a result Lacas has been dissolved. Proposed comeback On September 2018 House Minority Leader and Quezon Rep. Danilo Suarez announced that Lacas CMD is currently rebuilding and will soon regain the political dominance it lost after Arroyo stepped down as president in 2010. Party officials Chairman Emeritus, former President Fidel V. Ramos National President, Ferdinand Martin Romaldez Co-Chairman Minority Floor Leader and Representative Danilo Suarez, 3rd District of Quezon Representative Simeon A. Datamanong, 2nd District of Maguindano Representative Rolando G. Andaya, 1st District of Camarines Sir Executive Vice President, Governor Arthur Defensor Sr., Iloilo Secretary General, Representative Jose S. Aquino II, 1st District of Agusan del Norte SVP for Internal Affairs, Representative Bernardo Vergara, Lone District of Baguio City SVP for External Affairs, Representative Arthur Yap, 3rd District of Bohol SVP for Finance, Representative Aurelio Gonzalez Jr., 3rd District of Pampanga List of party chairmen Gloria Macapagal Arroyo 2008-2009 Gilberto Teodoro 2009-2010 Amelita Villarosa 2010 Gloria Macapagal Arroyo 2010-2011 Edsel Lagman 2011-2012 Bong Rivia Jr. 2012 present. Candidates for the Philippine general election, 2010. Gilbert Teodoro, presidential candidate, lost. Adu Manzano, vice presidential candidate, lost. Senatorial slate, six. Silvestre Bello, lost. Ramon Naval Guico, lost. Raul Lambino, lost. Ray Langit, lost. Lito Lapid, won. Bon Rivia, won. Candidates for the Philippine general election, 2016. Senatorial slate Greco Belgica, candidate for Rodrigo Duterte, PDP Laban, and Miriam Bongbong Party. Romeo Maganto Adu Manzano, candidate for Partido Galing at Puso and Miriam Bongbong Party. Martin Romaldez, candidate for United Nationalist Alliance and Miriam Bongbong Party. Electoral performance President Vice President Senate This chart shows the electoral performance of the Lacas Campi CMD in Senate elections since 2010. House of Representatives This chart shows the electoral performance of the Lacas Campi CMD in House of Representatives elections since 2010. References